The month of November brings in the powerboat races. It also brings up the curtain at the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. Now, it has been voted by Florida Monthly Magazine as the best professional theater in Florida. Their 2013-2014 season begins on November 22nd. We'll talk with artistic director Danny Weathers this morning. Danny, thank you so much for being back on the show with me. Thank you for having me. Love to talk to you. All right, Danny, this is the 74th season of the Waterfront Playhouse Theater, which is a little hard to believe. It's also <laughs> your 11th season. Tell us about the lineup. Uh, we have a very exciting lineup coming uh, this year. Uh, I'm really thrilled with it. And um, we're going to start off with uh, our usual opening concert. And this year it's going to be, it's called And the Winner Is. And it's all Oscar winning songs, uh, songs that have won the best Oscar throughout the years. Um, and it's a wonderful lineup of music, some great talent, Key West best singers are involved. Uh, on November 22nd, we have a big party planned afterwards, uh, uh, sponsored by the O.L. family with catering by Jennifer Cornell and Small Chef at Large. And then the next night is a little cheaper uh, ticket, but no party afterwards, but it's the same great concert. So that's the 22nd and 23rd. Then our first show is uh, Leading Ladies, and it's written by uh, the man who wrote uh, Lend Me a Tenor. It's a very funny show about two British actors who are sort of down on their luck. And they hear about an old lady who uh, is going to leave her inheritance to her two British nieces that she hasn't seen in years and years. So they decide they're going to dress up like the nieces and try to get the money. So they dress up like, <laughs> it's very funny, it's sort of like Some Like It Hot crossed with Charlie's on. Um, and it has a wonderful cast in it. We start rehearsals uh, very soon for that. Um, and that starts on December 17th, runs to January 11th. The next play is called Other Desert Cities. Um, it was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize, also a Best Tony uh, Award. Really wonderful script, funny, political, dramatic, a great story with a surprise at the end that you're just not going to see. Mm -hmm. um, and it will be, have a beautiful set by Michael Boyer uh, that takes place in Palm Springs, California. Um, then our musical is Xanadu. Remember the old terrible mu movie with Olivia Newton-John? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a great musical. Uh, this wonderful playwright, Douglas Carter Bean, took that uh, old movie, that movie and sort of made it a jumping off place and has rewritten it. It's really fun. People are going to be on roller skates. Uh, the music is great. It ha uh, it's from the 80s, all this music like Evil Woman and Xanadu, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Really fun musical. Have a great cast in that. Tom Luna's in the cast, Vicki Roush and Laurie break well um, and, and uh, really looking forward to that. Um, then the next thing is called, uh, next play is called Souvenir and it's about this woman in the 30s, her name was Florence Foster Jenkins and she was a wealthy woman, she thought she had a great voice and she didn't, she could not sing a note. But she would give these concerts and people would come to see just to laugh at her. Um, and they would try, you know, they wouldn't laugh openly. They'd stuck handkerchiefs in their mouth to try and keep from laughing. They'd run out into the hall. Um, but but uh, um, the, the play is actually about uh, this woman and her accompanist and sort of the friendship that they, they form. Um, and it's funny and it's touching and uh, just a really wonderful play. It, was nominated, it won the best play uh, by Drama Desk in New York. Then we close out the season uh, with, uh, the, the last thing we're doing is an original musical called A Dog Story, which is written by Gayla Morgan, who lives in town, mm -hmm. and Eric Weinberger, uh, who lives part-time in Key West, and wrote last year's Tea for Three, which was at the Red Barn. Um, and it's a really charming uh, musical about a guy who decides he's going to get a, a dog so he can meet chicks. He gets a puppy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. um, and so uh, comedy ensues from, from there. But it's a really wonderful, heartwarming story. And uh, so that's a great lineup. We also have a, a concert by Carmen Rodriguez on February 7th at the San Carlos. Mm -hmm. And then we have, uh, uh, on March 24th, we have what we're calling Star Wor Words, which is based on a, uh, an off-Broadway show. And we have people reading from celebrity autobiographies. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they're reading from Suzanne Somers' autobiography and Lonnie nice. Anderson and Burt Reynolds <laughs> and just these stars' autobiography. And it's, like I said, it's just very, very funny. So we're going to have a whole lineup of people uh, doing those and it, it, we're going to have a party afterwards. It's going to be very fun. Well, great. Well, this sounds like a great lineup, Danny. And I mentioned at the beginning that this is your 11th season as the artistic director. So how does this season compare with the others? Well, they're always exciting. <laughs> I can probably answer you better after the season <laughs> is over, but, but going in, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, all the shows are cast at this point, so I'm always thrilled about that. Um, and uh, I, I think it's across the board, 
uh, a really thrilling season because it's a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there are comedies, there's a musical, um, Other Desert Cities is a little bit meatier, um, and Souvenir is a little bit meatier, although they're both funny, but they're, uh, the writing is just brilliant in both mm -hmm. of those. Um, and then we have uh, an original work from uh, Key West artists, so I think that's uh, always wonderful to, to do on our stage. Well, great. Well, I look forward to seeing this year's plays, and this is definitely the calm before the storm for you, Danny. I Absolutely. know you're going to be busy, so we might not see you until after. <laughs> After <laughs> season, maybe though during season. You well, I always enjoy in. seeing this. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. We'll leave our viewers this morning with some more background on the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. Enjoy and be sure to get your tickets right now. Key West is a theater town. We have a rich pool of talent here of actors and directors. Many of them have professional credits, including Broadway, regional theaters, film, television. A lot of people who come in from out of town don't realize this. They think we're a community theater, but actually we are a professional theater. You're going to see a professional, really engaging production here at the Waterfront Playhouse. And our reviews prove this. The Key West Citizen called Drowsy Chaperone a howling hit with the most astonishing collection of actors ever assembled on a local stage in the past two decades. And Drama Desk reviewer Lucy Komisar called The 39 Steps a brilliant parody, every bit as good as Broadway. In November of 2007, the brand new Ross and Anne McKee lobby was unveiled. And then in 2010 and 2011, again with the help from our many supporters and the Monroe County Tourist Development Council, we made several major technical upgrades. New lighting, new sound, a new roof, and a new stage named in honor of our longtime president, Henry Woods. Our latest improvement was the addition of a complete assisted listening hearing loop system, which now makes the Waterfront Playhouse fully ADA compliant. At the Waterfront, we feature state-of-the-art internet ticketing. Just go to waterfrontplayhouse.org and check it out. You can see our complete schedule for the season, reviews of shows, book tickets in advance. You can even pick out the exact seat you want. You'll also find the Waterfront Playhouse on Facebook with over 2,000 fans. And on Twitter. Come on, you can even tweet the actors backstage during a show. Or, of course, if you prefer a more traditional communication, you can call the box office at 305 294-5015. Or you can always come down and visit us at the box office. The box office is open on show days from 1 until showtime. The Waterfront Playhouse is located in one of the hot spots in Key West, Florida. We have restaurants, we have bars, and we also have the famous Key West Sunset right behind our building. So before you take in a show, you can take in the Key West Sunset. We like to say here, when the sun sets, the curtain rises. When you're done with the Duval Crawl, when you've been to all the bars, when you've been to all the tourist sites, come to the Waterfront Playhouse. You're going to have a wonderful evening of entertainment, a terrific night out. You're going to be entertained. You're going to love it. Come to the Waterfront Playhouse. You'll see professional classic theater in paradise. You're going to be glad you did. If I